I'm Morgan Healy. Welcome to this week's Channel Beat. This week, the CRN Test Center looked at Dell's Precision 5720 all-in-one PC. It has a touchscreen, powerful processing, an adjustable articulating stand, and one feature you wouldn't normally expect in a business computer. The Dell 5720 is priced to be less expensive than the upcoming iMac Pro, but that doesn't mean it's cheap. The model we tried out actually runs at nearly $3,500, so it's definitely a high-end computer, but it's still a lot less than the $5,000 iMac Pro. Another round of ransomware attacks was reported on Tuesday, this time with businesses and governments affected in the Ukraine, Russia, Denmark, Spain, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Companies in the U.S. affected include DLA Piper and pharmaceutical giant Merck. CRN security reporter Sarah Caranda covered the story and said partners are urging their customers to take a multifaceted approach to their security. They definitely said, it, you know, stressing that you know, if you do get hit, if you see that screen pop up, you know, make sure you, you shut off your machine to stop it spreading from the rest of the, the network and kind of call your IT department or your MSP and you know, get that fixed. Um, and then you know, there are some more, I guess, advanced things you can do around you know, shutting off access to certain applications or you know, certain utilities on the back end. Um, a lot of the partners said definitely, you know, kind of start with getting you know, back to those basics and um, you know, getting those locked down and, and ready to go for in case the next one rolls around. The attacks come on the heels of a massive outbreak of ransomware last month with WannaCry ransomware hitting more than 200,000 computers around the world. For the latest CRN security news stories, you can visit crn.com slash news slash security. Apple CEO Tim Cook made a surprise appearance on stage with Cisco CEO Chuck Robbins at the Cisco Live event this week. As the two CEOs said their companies are extending an ongoing relationship around enterprise security and networking. Tim Cook said that the combination of Cisco and Apple products in the enterprise will lead to a safer, less worrisome environment because both companies are known for tightly coupling software and hardware. One partner told CRN at Cisco Live that he sees a quick benefit for solution providers that are working with the two companies. Chris Botger, CTO at IVCI, said, quote, we would see that a Cisco solution is a better return on an organization's investment as a direct result of not only lower costs in insurance, but more importantly, the reduction in costs associated with an actual security breach. As partners look ahead to the opportunities in artificial intelligence and machine learning, they might want to read this week's interview with Dell Technologies CEO, Michael Dell. In a wide-ranging interview with CRN, Dell said that he is watching AI and machine learning technologies closely to see how best to implement them in enterprise systems. AI is powered by data, he said, and a huge volume of the enterprise data in the U.S. is stored on Dell EMC systems. CRN's Matt Brown was on the phone with Mr. Dell this week. He said that Dell knows that even if these new technologies are being developed in software, it's still an opportunity for his company and for partners. AI and machine intelligence are clearly things that Michael Dell is very interested in, and the hardware aspect of that market is something that he and Dell Technologies are really putting a lot of energy into. Uh, after all, AI doesn't run on AI, he told us. Software doesn't run on software, it runs on hardware, and the servers and storage have to go somewhere. Uh, and it will be uh, sort of forward-looking, um, smart channel partners that really get in on that market uh, as it starts to heat up. That's what we have this week for Channel Beat. For more news and top stories, stay tuned right here on CRN.com.